Well, folks, I think it's time to give the trailer a little love. We've been ignoring uh, the TLC on it for quite a long time. We've got these two other little idiots that require a lot of time and effort. And uh, so we've kind of ignored the trailer. Um, puppies take a lot of time. I need to do a video on that, and uh, you'll see that coming up in the next month or so. But I got the... I got the stabilizers down and uh, the heaters in the trailer it's about 40 degrees outside so we're gonna look at what we can do about um, fixing the roof that seems to be a little on uh, put a brand new battery in and a brand new card it's four minute and everything and uh, of course the battery goes out in the first four minutes of uh, videoing so let me show you what I think the issues are with the trailer so, I don't know if you can see this is all big bubble. I just took the trusty A-liner steak knife and opened it and it's full of water. Um, so there's a lot of water coming down inside here. And yeah, I'm doing damage there, but it's already pretty damaged. I may have to cut this all out of here. See. How bad the water damage is. I should have realized that all these brown streaks coming down here weren't from condensation. Um, that's been happening for about a year. Uh, when I moved down here, I noticed that when we had to, I had the trailer at the um, at the apartment, the temporary living apartment. I couldn't put it up there. <laughs> they wouldn't let me. Now, I think I'm just going to cut some of this away and see how bad the see how bad this is in here. looks like wood. Maybe we can dry it out and it'll be all right. Damage right at the moment. A little more over in the corner. I do want to get all this wet stuff open so it can dry and so I can tell if it's still leaking like I said it's my belief that it isn't really leaking from the bubble window but I don't know and it's, it seems to go all the way across although it hasn't seemed to hurt much here well folks I'm looking around the edges of my skylights. Any issue with any potential leakage. However, if I go over to the to the fantastic fan, that looks kind of suspect. It looks like it might have pulled away a bit from the from the caulk and maybe some water gets in there. This side even looks even worse. So maybe that's where the small amount of water comes in and that's not enough water to come in during the day when it's up. But just when it's sitting here like this, when I've got it laying down I think that's when most of the water comes through. The old A-liner definitely needs a few touch-ups here and there. Maybe I'll go through and do a lot of caulking. You know, it looks like somebody caulked this once before. Because there's a there's a layer of new caulk on here on top of the old caulk. But I think they did a good job. There's been a lot of work done on this trailer before I bought it. We need to change this 
big black weather strip along the outside. It cracked and broke. Can you see that? Right there. Can you see that? Now it's pretty obvious. I've replaced that once about two years ago. We have been picking away at uh, all the loose stuff. The stuff that has delaminated on the uh, bottom of the window. The bottom of the roof. And we got it over in this corner too. We found some. We came up here and there's some up here on the side. But one of the things um, I want to show you is that it's nowhere around the bubble window. Um, the bubble window is not the problem. The bubble window is not leaking. Despite the fact that it seems to have bowed a little out. And the electric wires run down this side inside the, the roof and come over to here. The wiring comes down. Um, we do not believe that it's the window. So that means it's either something in the front coming in when the, when the um, thing is down. However, in the rain, nothing came through here. None of this was wet, even close to the edge was damp after a whole week of rain. Now the far end corner way back in here was a little wet and I don't know if that was just because it wasn't well aired or if it was because it was getting a little water in it. But anyways um, I think the bottom line is that we're gonna bring out the uh we're gonna take the trailer down now we're gonna bring it into the garage and work on caulking it over the next couple of weeks and then this i think we're just gonna paint it paint it white you you will never notice on camera <laughs> if this is just white but this is uh this is just some kind of plywood this is all plywood uh it's uh you know several layers of laminated wood and uh, it works pretty good, really. I mean, I'm glad to know that it's not all rotten because it's because it's protected by glue in reality. Um, it's not soft even down on the very edge where it was the most wet for the longest time. I'm gonna clean around the windows with a rag, <laughs> pretty much soaked in acetone. Clean all the the caulk areas and um, make sure that's clean so that any caulk sticks and the surface is clean and dry so I've got a pretty good margin around the, the skylights, windows and fans. Then I'm going to take some masking tape that I bought at Dollar General and I'm going to lay it around the outside where I don't want the caulk to be. A quarter of an inch away from the frame of the frame of the skylight. I'll do that all the way around. What is with you? I don't want to put on too much more than the old caulk. But I've done a lot of caulk and I know people can tell you that you know if you're real careful you can make a nice line and you don't need to put down any masking or anything but you know what? It saves a lot of headaches. You might be thinking to yourself, what's he going to use to caulk that? Well, I looked around to the shop, my, my factory, and s looked at what they seal stuff with on the factory floor when they put together a truck. And they use Sika, Sika stuff. So I got, uh, got on Amazon, of course, and bought some Sikaflex 505 UV 
which is a high performance exterior grade sealant and it's highly weather resistant so this is what I'm using Sikaflex 505 UV as an ultraviolet I cut the cut the end off and I've jammed it with my screwdriver to break the seal inside for those of you who have absolutely no idea how to caulk <laughs> And you want to use a lot of paper towels to keep your spoon and utensils fairly clean of caulk or you will have it all over yourself. Now if you're like me and you did all this and it looks like hell, then be glad you took up the, put down the tape. Take up the tape before the before it hardens, because that is the trick to making it look good. And voila, it's a nice job. All the, all the over splatter is, uh, was on the tape, but you got to take it off before it hardens. If you leave it when it hardens, you'll have caulked tape. So, we are done caulking them, and they definitely look, that's the string from the light, they definitely look like they've been recocked, but after all, that's the idea. <laughs> not dry yet, and uh, that's not as clean as I'd like it, but I think it's sealed. Well, that's about all we're going to do inside. It's actually warmer outside than inside. So we're going to move the trailer outside and uh, work on the rest of the roof, the rest of the caulking. I've, I've shown you how I do it for the skylights and stuff. They're the hardest part. So now I'm going to do the edges and some other stuff, and uh, I'll show you how that comes out. But um, you don't need to watch me caulk the whole trailer. This is going to be a multi-day job. <laughs> so... So let's go and I'll, uh, I'll take this outside and I'll show you when I'm done. <laughs> so I can't really see the camera because the sun's in my eyes. <laughs> Hopefully you can see me. But um, I've done the front edge and I've gone all the way up to the uh, solar panels. And I think there's a got a pretty good caulk job here. I think that may have been where the water was coming in and I'll show you why. Although this roof, the front roof, didn't show the same damage as the back roof. The back roof had some real significant damage um, from when I put on the springs, which I'm a little confused on that. But maybe there was a leak before and this part just got soft and lost its strength and uh, had some other issues but let me show you what happened um what i did on the on the other end it tucks under on this on this piece of metal here where's my can you see that it, it bows in and this side's not too bad but it does pull away from this caulking here and i'm afraid that's going to let water in you can see this right here this is bowed in, it's actually hitting the, the sidewall when it closes, and I have to pry it out. But this is really away from the, from the um, caulking, but this is way away from the caulking. It's moved way out, and um, can you see that gap? Probably not. That gap in there, there's a huge gap right in there so I'm going to reinforce this I'm going to put some I'm going to add some angle irons 
in here to uh, you know, add some pieces of aluminum angle iron. I'll just pop rivet those in there to strengthen up this section. Now you can see how that's kind of bent out and deformed and that's from the new springs I put in there and I don't know if it's from soft wood or if it's just the springs are in crooked or something or what but anyways we're gonna fix that with a little reinforcement. <laughs> 